make the mask, I used liquid latex flour, a plastic cup, mixing stick, aluminum foil, and a face cast or whatever it is you want to use to make your mold on. Pour the latex into a cup and slowly mix in the flour to an oatmeal-like consistency, but I would suggest making it more on the creamier side for a smoother finish than this one. Next, tear a couple of strips of foil and roll them up. This will be your skeleton frame for you to work with on your mask. Use the latex paste as a glue and stick the foil around your mold. It's important that you're creating space and airways for you to breathe since this is covering your mouth and your nose. Once you layer down your paste base, use the regular latex to smooth it out with your finger or a tool. I had a bit of a difficult time doing this since everything kept sticking to my fingers and picking up the paste when I touched it, so maybe wait till it dries just a little bit so you can have an easier time smoothing it out. I don't know. I wanted the frame to stick out more, so I doubled up on the foil layers wherever I saw fit. Smooth everything out again and let it dry overnight. Use powder or flour to dust off your mask when you remove it from the face cast or whatever it is you used, just so it's an easier removal and also so that the latex doesn't stick to itself, just in case it didn't dry completely. This is where I had the most trouble, since the latex was so thick and super hard to trim and cut. I don't know how many times I stabbed myself, but it was a lot, and the scissors I was using wasn't really cutting it but I would have definitely preferred a much cleaner cut and I also couldn't cut all of the spaces and areas that I wanted to but whatever. For the mesh net part I just used one of the zillion wood caps that I had and I hot glued the pieces into the inside of the mask and I trimmed down the excess edges once the glue cooled off. When it was time to paint, I mixed together two shades of yellow acrylic paint and I painted over the mask and the net. Since the mask itself ended up drying weird and lumpy since I didn't smooth it out and do a good enough job in the first place, I just rolled with the lumpy appearance since I was doing a burn effect anyways and I scratched on some marks with the sharpie and just kind of made it look a little more messy and flaky and damaged. I added more net to the inside of the middle of the mask just so it would all look more together. At first I was going to adhere the mask to my skin itself which is why I had an extra latex border but I changed my mind, I trimmed it off and I hot glued ribbon to tie it instead. And once you glue your ribbon or elastic or whatever and you have things hanging, just use a lighter to seal the edges so it doesn't fray and you are all done. I don't really feel like doing any more talking with the makeup side, it's just, it is what it is. You can watch it and follow along or do your own thing. I'm not much of a talker, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click that subscribe button and ring your notification bell. And I will see you lovelies next time, so enjoy the rest of the video.
Come on.